Hi guys, welcome back. Okay, um, I've got a corner to corner pattern for you. This is the corner to corner block pattern. I have actually got a tutorial listed um, from corner to corner in the block pattern. Uh, you might have to scroll all the way down. That's done with a double crochet. This is called the mini, mini um, block corner to corner because we're not using double crochets, we're using half double crochets and it's much more uh, denser, but not so dense if you use a five millimeter crochet hook. Great for, um, oh, look lovely, yes, uh, table mats or placemat, sorry, or coasters even, or, you know, a baby blanket, anything you want to make, but you want to start off your uh, pattern from the corner. So you can decide what's the uh, width of it that you want and obviously the width that you want the length will be sorry the height will be exactly the same because it is actually a square so I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do this you will need a five millimeter crochet hook and DK yarn lightweight yarn I'm using new fashion double knitting by Woolcraft and it asks me to use a four millimeter but because we're using the half double crochet stitch we're going to use a five millimeter crochet hook for this um it's really pretty and really textured and it's both sides so i'm going to show you how to make this one after this i do have another corner to corner pattern for you as well um so let's begin this is going to be done in a lovely rosy pink color so you can see the first thing you need to do is a slip knot and chain so do your slip knot however you prefer and chain up five one two three four and five uh, just before I begin I have a tutorial for how to do it how to do a slip knot and how to chain and also how to do half double crochet so this entire pattern is half double crochet and um, chaining and slipping into the blocks as we go along. So go ahead and have a practice and then come back if you're not sure. But you can follow with me here. And if I am going a little bit too fast, please do slow me down. Okay. So once you've changed your five, you yarn over and you go into the third so one, two, three, or one, two, three, whichever way you want to count. We are working these last three stitches. So go into the third stitch and do a half double crochet. Yarn over, go into the next one, pull up a loop and another half double crochet. Yarn over and go into the last one and do a half double crochet. That's your very first block here. We then chain five, one, two, three, four, and five. You can either chain and turn your work or turn your work and chain. I just chain and then the reason why I do my um, flip after is because I always want to ensure that this little tail is always running this side while I'm on the increase. So it's just my way of doing it, but you do it whichever way you prefer. So yarn over, we've done five stitches go into the third and do a half double crochet. Go into the next one and do a half double crochet. And then go into the last one, which is right there, and do a half double crochet there. So this is what I meant about um, uh, this tail. So in order to know which way you're flipping, just in case you make a mistake, just ensure that this tail is here. Okay, so we did the three half double crochets here and then we had that turning chain. You want to go into that space, okay, and do a slip stitch, like so. Once you've done your slip stitch, chain two, and then into that space, do three half double crochets. That's one, two, and three so there's our little blocks forming okay chain five it's always chain five go 
never count that one. One, two, and three, go into the third and do a half double crochet. Half double crochet, as you know, is just drawing up a loop, pulling through all three. And then that very last chain here, half double crochet. And this is what I mean about your work, because it will wiggle around. And in order to know that you're in the right, going the right way, twist it over, make sure this strand's down here. And then slip stitch into that space there next to the three double, uh, half double crochets. Immediately chain two and three half double crochets into that space. And three. Then you come to here and you'll have your three half double crochets and you'll have your chain two space there. Go into there and do a slip stitch. Chain two and three half double crochets. One, two and three. Chain five. Yarn over, go into the third stitch and do a half double crochet. And into the next one. And into the next one. It's called the mini corner to corner block stitch because, like I said, we're using the half double crochet. So while you're doing that, like I said, your work will dangle around. Ensure this is here. Okay. Then slip stitch into that chain two space and chain two. So every time you slip into a chain space, you do the three half double crochets. And slip into the next one next to it. Chain two, half double crochet three times, it's two, and that's three. And slip stitch into that chain two space there. Chain two, and into that space another three half double crochets. have a look in now. Chain five. And into the third, do a half double crochet. Oh, I think I chained six there. Let's do that again. One, two, three, four, and five. Half double crochet in the third chain, half double crochet in the next one, and half double crochet in the next one. Flip your work, make sure the strand's coming down, and slip stitch. Now we are working up to the top. And it's always chain two after you've slipped into that space because we are using that chain two each and every time to make our block that's two and that's three slip stitch into the next chain two space chain two and double cro uh, sorry half double crochet three times next space Chain two, half double crochet three times, into that space, chain two, and three half double crochets. That's all there is to this. So show you one more row and We can show you how to do the decrease. One, two, three. One, two, and three. Make sure your work's the right way. 
slip stitch, chain two, three half double crochets here. As we are using the half double crochets, uh, I'm using a chain, uh, sorry, a five millimeter crochet hook. If you want your pattern to turn out a bit more, more lacier, even though I think this is really quite nice, try five and a half or a six, do a small sample and then see how you feel. You can always do a couple of rows and if you think, oh no, I want it to be a bit more denser, then drop a hook. If you want it looser, go up a hook. I'm using five, I like five on this yarn. Two and three. Slip stitch into our last one here, chain two and three double crochets. Okay, so you will carry on to the length, sorry, the width that you need. And remember, whatever that width is, the length is going to be the same. This is not for the rectangle uh, pattern. This is just for the, the square. Um, and it looks really pretty and it's really simple to do. So what you want to do then is turn your work over. Now we are on the decrease, okay? Don't chain anything. Just turn your work over. So once you've got to the size that you need, go ahead and slip stitch into that first. Top one there. Then the second half double crochet. And then the third half double crochet. You also need to slip it into that chain two space. So it's four slips across. Okay. Once you've slipped into that, you're technically turning your work this way. And chain two. And then go into that chain space and do three half double crochets. Then you move along to the next one, slip stitch. See, we're going to start forming a straight edge on this side. Chain two, go into that space and do three half double crochets. Into the next chain two space here. Chain two, three half double crochets into the next space, slip stitch, chain two, and then you do your three half double crochets. So when you come up to here, you do your very last one, chain two. And three half double crochets. Oops, bear with me. And then you will slip into that chain two space at the top. Okay. So once we've slipped into that, we're starting to form our edge here and we're starting to form our edge here. So normally we would on the increase chain two and then do another block and then carry on. But we are decreasing. So once you've joined onto your last block, flip your work. Okay, no chain, no nothing. And slip stitch into those three half double crochets. Putting the uh, hook in, pulling it through, and then pulling it through there. And into the third one. And then you also need to go into that chain two space. Make sure you go into there as well for your fourth because we are using that to do exactly the same. Chain two, and then into that chain two space, go ahead and put three half double crochets. There are some tutorials with this and uh, a little bit different in the way that they decrease and some some people chain three and then link it in another way and I don't actually like the, the holes on the side so this there is no gaps whatsoever with this one chain two 
and three double crochets oh half double crochets slip stitch into the next one chain two you can do this method if you want to do the double crochets so again it's always three double crochets and you're doing everything else exactly the same even the beginning chain is five because we're doing three double crochets okay so if you want this is the mini block it's like literally an inch where the other one will be a bit bigger so slip stitch into that top okay now we have the three sides here one two three one two three turn our work and slip stitch into the three single crochets one two and three Tight there three and then also into that chain four space uh, chain two space chain two and into that chain two from the previous row do your three double crochets half double crochets do excuse me I'm talking I'm explaining but my mind is also <laughs> wandering on other things one two and three slip stitch chain two and half, three half double crochets and slip stitch to that last one here okay we've only got probably two more rows to do okay, it's absolutely square you can make mini squares this size I mean I've done what one two three four five six rows six rows um, if you want to make a whole bunch of these and then sew them they will look absolutely wonderful as well so you can either go for the full big project with this pattern or you can make smaller squares if you want to spend a bit more time and make something a bit more elaborate okay flip your work and slip stitch across to the three once you've done your three you know that you'll need to do one more into the chain two space chain two and three half double crochets slip stitch chain two three half double crochets slip stitch to the top we're going to go across here and we've got one block left to do flip your work slip stitch you're doing the same either side and then go into the chain two space chain two and your very last three half double crochets and you are done Okay, here we are, the mini corner to corner, working up that way and then up that way. I think this is really pretty. Did a larger one for you here, let me just zoom out a bit. That's the larger one, that's the smaller. Hope you like this tutorial for the corner to corner mini block. I really like this one. To be honest, I prefer the mini one rather than the normal one. I just like the way the half double crochets look. Give it like a little more of a texture. Because there's more, more wraps, isn't there, for the half double crochet. But anyway, this is your mini corner to corner block square. Go ahead and make the blanket, carry on or make smaller squares. I think it's absolutely perfect. Thanks again everybody for watching. Please do subscribe, like and share to anybody. I've got another one, um, sorry I didn't finish my sentence off, to share to anybody that you would think would love to make this. 
Um, yeah, I've got the um, granny version from corner to corner. And uh, I need to show you that one as well because the granny square again is a uh, another one that we can do either working up or working from the center outwards. And um, but the the, the um, corner to corner one is also very pretty. So that'll be the next pattern I'll show you. Okay, hope you like this tutorial, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you very soon.